I one day attended an electric car event where uh, the Heat Smart campaign was also represented. And I had some conversations there. At the time, I was interested in finding a better way to, to heat uh, our house in Sherwood. And I ended up getting air source heat pumps for that house to replace an aging oil furnace. I was interested in, in using them here uh, at the meeting house as well. We have some quite old furnaces, two oil furnaces. We could turn on the furnaces. We'd have to turn on both furnaces to get both the upstairs and downstairs warm. And it would take quite a while and it would consume a lot of energy, cost a lot of money. So it really wasn't worth it. If you're going to have a meeting in the library, it really was not worth it to turn on the oil furnace and wait two or three hours uh, for the library to get warm. Now, you can turn on the heat pump with just a few clicks on a button and it'll be warm uh, quite soon. Also with the Wi-Fi capability, you can turn on the heat ahead of your meeting. You can turn it on with your phone and have it be nice and toasty when you get there. So an air source heat pump uh, provides heat in the, in the winter and uh, cooling in the summer. It's much more efficient and cheaper to operate than fossil fuels or uh, electric resistance heat. It extracts heat from the, the air and moves it to where you want it to be. Even when the outside air is 10 degrees or lower, you can actually extract heat from it and move it into your building. And then in the summer, you're extracting heat from the air inside the building and moving it outside, just like an air conditioner. So the air source heat pump uh, heats the building and cools the building as needed. It's more cost effective to operate the heat pumps. It costs a lot less to, to warm up the space on any given day than it would with the furnaces. Uh, roughly, that would be about a three to one cost differential. With the heat pumps, um, we can use the space where formerly it would have been impractical to make it comfortable. So we have a couple boys that um, rush downstairs uh, trying to find a good place to sit. And one of the popular things in the wintertime is to find a seat right next to a little space heater that somebody had brought in, in in this room where we often were a little bit on the cold side. So we're looking forward to having everybody feel comfortable in that room. We normally keep that room downstairs closed and had a few electric heaters that would keep us fairly warm, but now we can keep the door open and engage them in a bigger space, enjoy not having to be so bottled up in that one room. I think as we get out of the COVID period, we'll be using the heat pumps more and having a more pleasant environment for various activities that we do. Uh, a lot of our occasions in the basement uh, are associated with food. And with the heat pumps, um, we will now be able to have uh, a nice, comfortable kitchen year-round. Once a month, we have a meeting, and it can be pretty brutal in July and August and September to be in the afternoon in that library with the sun coming in the windows. Well, I'm really looking forward to having those meetings in a comfortable temperature with the cooling from the, from the heat pumps. So a person can come in uh, if their internet is down, if they want to spend some time reading, if they want to do a Zoom session uh, with others in the meeting, they can come in and know that it's going to be warm or they can quickly make it warm. It has been already used a lot more than in a typical year, even with, with the COVID being an issue. Most members of our meeting are quite concerned about climate change. So we feel good about reducing our fossil fuel consumption here. You know, we, we inherited this building from previous generations and uh, it's, a, it's a solid, good building. And we've been able to continue to improve it with better insulation, uh, with better heating and cooling systems. Well, certainly, we'd like to do our part to make sure that uh, uh, this meeting house can continue to be used by the next generations uh, and that the next generations have a good future. Uh, we all have to do our part.